Welcome to MyEyeAcademy.com. I'm Professor Mahfouz Hussain from Pakistan. You can see all the videos by subscribing the channel as mentioned in the slide. In VPL 1.8, we'll discuss a 15-point quick guide. It is not a detailed guide, but a quick guide for the interpretation of the coordinate topography map. This 15-point guide works in a way that you have got five points to look for, and after those five, you will decide whether the patient may have a coronal pathology or may not have a coronal pathology. And then you will confirm with, with the rest of the parameters. And then number 15 is the indices, so that will confirm or correct your findings. Now, the points are, the first you see the overall shape of the cornea, look for the cool bow tie, hourglass appearance, CCCs, central cool concentric rings. Then you look for the posterior elevation, then for the anterior elevation, then for the thinnest location and the Y coordinate. After these five, we'll make our mind and try to decide whether the corneal pathology is there or it is a normal cornea. And then with the rest of the parameters, we'll confirm the findings and the indices will correct or confirm our findings. So let's start. Again, the same 15 points, I've shifted them to the left-hand side and they will come with the topographic maps in the coming slides. We start with the case number one. And let's go to the first, the overall shape. Overall shape is cool bow tie on a sagittal map, cool eye lens on elevation map, and central cool concentric ring on the Pecky map. All of them are normal patterns. Number two is the posterior elevation. It is less than 12 in all the areas, so it is again normal. We go to the number three, which is the anterior elevation, and it is less than 17 in the whole ring, so that's again normal. Then we go to the K max, which is 46.7, which is less than 47.2, so that's again normal. We go to the number five, the Y coordinate, and the Y coordinate is minus 0.45, which is less than minus five, so that's again normal. Now we make our mind. All the five parameters are within the normal range, so perhaps it's a normal coordinate topographic map. Let's confirm it with the rest of the parameters. The vertical bow tie. Vertical, V for vertical, and if you join two Vs together, that makes with the rule. So vertical is with the rule, and with the rule is good, so it's not suspicious, so again, another good sign. Number seven is the astigmatism. Astigmatism is less than six diopter on both the anterior and posterior surface, so that's again normal. Then the number eight, the K max, that is less than 47.2, so again normal. Number nine is the SRAX. There is no SRAX here. The two prongs of the bow tie are right opposite to each other, so there's no SRAX, again a good sign. Number 10 is the superior inferior difference at the five millimeter map. The five millimeter map is roughly here, and the superior inferior difference is less than 2.5, which is again normal. Then the inferior superior difference, look at that. The inferior is here, and the superior is here, so it's again less than 1.5. That's again normal. Let's go to the number 12, which is the pachymetry as superior and inferior. Look at the pachymetry at the superior and the pachymetry at the inferior five millimeter ring. The difference is less than 30 microns, so that's again a good sign. Then is the pachymetry at the pachy apex and thinnest location. The difference should be less than 10 microns and it is actually less than 10 microns, so that's again a normal side. Number 14 is the thinnest location of both eyes. I've checked it, and it is less than 30 micron. Now, 
all the signs are mentioning that it is perhaps a normal cornea. So number 15, the indices. Let's confirm it with the indices. Look, all the indices are white, not suspicious, and indices are confirming that it is a normal cornea. So your quick guide, the first five points have made it clear that it's a normal cornea and the other points have confirmed it and the indices has confirmed it is a normal cornea. So let's go to the case number two. Let's start with the case number two and see whether it's a normal or pathological cornea. First of all, the overall shape. On the sagittal map, we have got a bow tie, which is not as regular as in the previous one or the, in the case one. Posterior and elevation and anterior elevation have got the cool islands. But on the packy map, the rings are central, concentric, but not cool. So we have got the hot rings. So now we have got slightly irregular bow tie and hot rings. And that is pointing out towards abnormality in the cornea. Go to number two. The posterior elevation in the center is 12 micron, which is right at the start of the suspicious range. Number three is the anterior elevation, which is all less than 17 micron, so that is in the normal range. Number four is the thinnest location, which is 468, which is just less than 470, so that is again in a suspicious range. And number five is the Y coordinate, which is minus 0.48, which is very close to the minus 0.5. Now, out of the first five, the overall shape is not normal on the sagittal and pachy map. Posterior elevation in the suspicious range, thinnest location in the suspicious range, and Y coordinate very close to the suspicious range. So perhaps it's a not normal cornea. Let's confirm with the, with the rest of the parameters. Go to the number six. We have got a bow tie, but it is not vertical, it's horizontal. And remember, with the rule astigmatism, our vertical bow tie was good. So this is a horizontal bow tie, which is not good. Go to the number seven. Astigmatism is less than six diopter, which is good. Number eight, the K-max is less than 47.2, which is good. Number nine, the SRAX. There is no SRAX, or SRAX is less than 22, which is a good. Number 10, superior inferior difference is less than 2.5. Inferior superior difference number 11 is less than 1.5. And look at the number 12. Superior inferior difference is actually just slightly more than 30 micron. It is actually 32 micron here. And then Number 13, the difference between the pachymetry in the pachy apex and thinnest location is less than 10 micron, and both eyes are less than 30 micron, which is not shown uh, in, 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 in the maps here. So now, in the first three out of the five are out of the normal range, and in the second set, we have got against the rule astigmatism and then number 13 is not sorry number 12 is not in the normal range all this is telling us that this is a suspicious cornea and need to be monitored carefully so we confirm it's not a normal cornea it's a suspicious cornea but not a frankly catoconus so let's see it is a catoconus suspect so let me confirm it with the indices. Look, the surface indices are normal, but the overall D is in the suspicious range. So we have got a suspicious cornea which needs to be monitored. Now let's move to the case three. We are on the case three now. Look at the parameters. First of all, the shape, the shape on the sagittal map is red blood. Then on elevation map, it is embryo shape. And on the pachy map, it is hot, irregular, concentric rings. 
so all these are abnormal shapes so this is from the very start perhaps an abnormal cornea look at the elevations very high and to the elevations very high look at the tennis location less than 470 and y coordinate is more than one so all these five parameters are telling us that it is an abnormal cornea and we have made our mind yes it is an abnormal cornea let's confirm with the other one number six there are no bow ties there number seven astigmatism is high number eight k max is much higher than 47.2 number nine uh, we cannot see any srax here superior inferior difference is high inferior superior difference is high packy difference at the five millimeter ring number 12 is more than 30 micron and the difference between the pecky apex and tennis location is more than 10 micron and i tell you that there's a difference of more than 30 microns in the right and left eyes all these are telling us that it is an abnormal cornea and most probably a keratoconus so let's confirm it with the indices look at that all the indices are in the red range and it is D is telling us that this is an abnormal cornea or a keratoconic cornea let's revise or recap it was the first five point which made our mind clear whether the patient has got a normal or abnormal cornea and the number 15 which are the indices which confirm our findings they are all based on the elevation and pecky maps and not on the sap maps so the first five points are very important and that make your mind and i think it's not possible that the first five points are normal and then you decide the cornea to be abnormal on the rest of the points for more cases watch vpl 1.10 for the practice and the confirmation of the 15 point guide thank you very much for being with me and do subscribe to the channel to see more videos thank you